Hello and welcome to another day of 50 things of keynote in the classroom. This episode created by me at Mrs Educate on Twitter. Welcome to day 19 of um, 50 days of keynote and today we're going to be looking at infographics. So what is it? Well an infographic is a really nice way of displaying lots of information and really getting to the nitty gritty using images and just very little information um, as writing. So it's great for not overloading information, avoiding cognitive overload. It's great for visual learners so they can see what they're learning. It's really Really good to link, link in simple facts so that you're really focusing on the main point. It can be excellent for a revision and pupils making their own revision too. So the first thing I would do is add shapes and objects. We're mostly going to be using shapes. So we click the plus at the top and then we can choose between lots of different objects and shapes. We can choose the categories or we can use the search option and search for exactly what we want so that we get the image that we want to look at um, and it works really well with the information too. It's also worth being aware of a really handy tool, which is the ability to be able to break shapes apart. So if you don't want a whole shape or if you want to change the color of the shapes, as I have with the books down the left hand side, you can break a shape apart and then color different aspects of the shape, different colors or use aspects of one shape differently. So you get different effects. Also, what works really nicely with an infographic is lots of use of charts. And luckily, Keynote has these all built in as well. So by choosing the plus button at the top, and instead, when we're looking at objects of choosing an image or a shape, we're going to go to the second tab along and choose charts. And you can see there's lots of ranges of charts. Once you've chosen one, you can also click on the um, little paint symbol and you can change your chart. So you can change the color, you can change the type of chart it is. There's some really nice 3D ones as well if you click down the chart type at the bottom. So it can just add Add a bit more um, of aesthetics to your infographic, make it look really good. So here we have two great um, finished examples. Jamie Clark's much better than my version on the right. Um, he is expat educator and he creates a, a really good infographic here. Um, and actually this is interactive. So he's used the link options as well and linked to different slides so that if you click on certain aspects, you get a lot more information. So this is a really nice starting piece that can also be worked with others. Uh, and then you can see mine on the right as well. So um, I've just focused on some aspects of the Bible, really focused on just some key points and not overloaded the information so we're avoiding that cognitive overload and we can see lots of information in just one slide. Thanks for watching another 50 days of Keynote. You can find all the videos on Padlet and the Keynote files here.